everybody welcome back to the channel it's a different video it's a new video it is a segment that I had dropped for quite a while because I kind of felt like okay topics topics were a little bit hard to you know come up with and you know things like that and I was just like okay let me take a break but recently Recently, I kind of, you know, I've been coming across this a lot, being on social media and looking at everything that's on social media. You already know what the title is down below, so we're going to get into it, right? But recently, I have come across it's just interesting, you know, things that, that cause a stir on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, you know, things that people are following quite a lot of lately and whatever, and, and just generally... <sighs> How do I say this? Things that even I have come across, like I've encountered myself, and I feel like, you know what, it's about time that I talk about this. It's about time that I raise something and speak about it. It is a very, very contentious issue, as you can see in the title down below. Why does society place so much value on money? And in this particular instance, on people with money, on relationships with money, because um, it's happening quite a lot. Let's let's Let's, let's let's not even beat about the bush. Let's be frank about it. It is happening quite a lot. You're seeing these young women um, uh, dating men with money. Uh, if they are older, with a ton of money, it doesn't really matter whether this man has a a wife or whatever, or whether he's old enough to be your father at this point. And I just feel like each to their own with that like you can be with whoever you want you can be with whoever whoever that is not the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is let us talk about why society places so much value on people with money but what i've noticed is you have a society of young people who are following you know celebrities and following influencers and following whatever whatever and all of that and that's wonderful you know it it becomes a little bit concerning for me if a young impressionable easily pressured young woman uh, follows a certain celebrity and wants that kind of lifestyle but does not have the means or financial means to support that kind of lifestyle so they'll end up doing even things to them that they typically wouldn't do um, to just uh, finance that kind of lifestyle obviously by being with somebody or whatever but also by treat being treated a certain way just so that you can finance a particular lifestyle. I saw a very disturbing video on Twitter yesterday of some girl who <laughs> was being given a golden shower. If you know what a golden shower is, comment down below and uh, inform others who do not. Uh, but in this video, the, the reason why I was uh, disturbed by it, I came across it, but the reason what made me more disturbed by it is the fact that the girl in the video, you can actually see that she is very uncomfortable. You know, when someone's like... You know, and then this person is there doing the deed and also recording her while he's doing that. And um, the, the, the tagline or the caption or whatever says that, so this is what your faves are doing just so that they can get money or they can, you know, buy expensive things or blah, 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 blah. Now, each to their own. I'm not saying that all faves, at this time around, I'm not even having tea. I'm having chocolate milk because I need to cool off. That's how hot this particular conversation is. And it's honestly how hot it is outside. Come on, girl. Society has sort of placed so much value. And I'm talking about young society. I'm talking about... Um, my particular society and young people in their 20s and whatever, they've placed so much value on, you know, uh, people with money or establishing relationships with people with money just so that they can support a particular lifestyle. Now, again, I say, don't take this personally in any form of way, each to their own. If you want to do whatever you want to do because you want to... That is fine. My problem is when young, impressionable 
people, men, women, get exposed to how their faves in terms of celebrities and whatever are living, they forget that these faves are people who are, they are coining it and they're making their shmoney. People who have that kind of money can travel that way, but you must understand that if it's a young student who is in varsity, but is Im easily impressed by this kind of lifestyle, she's going to want to pursue it by ever whatever means necessary. And I speak about this when I think about some of the young women that I have seen that is very evident. It doesn't matter, Uguti, they are... Uh, 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 funding you for that, that is your choice. But the problem is it, it creates a certain impression to the ones who idolize you, the ones who, you know, uh, look at you and are fans of you and whatever, whatever, that they end up getting into living their lives a particular way in which they might not even want to just to be able to finance that kind of lifestyle that they see from their faves. And the reason why I did this is because now I'm talking about general general relationships. Why are we now shunning wanting to just have a decent relationship with a, a, a decent person who is maybe not making a six-figure salary, a decent person who, you know, who, who, who just loves you, wants to be with you, whatever, but might not have enough coin to be buying you this and that and taking you there and sending you a maiwaleti and whatever, whatever. Why are young women aspiring to want that kind of relationship as opposed to just being with somebody that, you know, you, you've been with, um, you know, through high school or whatever and you got to university and this person is studying as much as you are but now they're not good enough because now you're exposed to this kind of life and your friends are dating this kind of guy and blah 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 that you would then let go of somebody that you've been with for so long because you're pursuing a certain kind of relationship the reason why I want to talk about this is because I get asked questions like this in my Insta life. Let's talk about the kinds of questions that I get asked that disturb me so, so much. I remember I did an Insta live. I don't know what it was about or whatever, but we were talking about relationships and blah, blah, blah. But this girl came onto my Insta live and we were talking about relationships and she started asking questions like, so what kind of, I, I know the people who are in that Insta live would remember this, but like, so what kind kind of man would you be happy uh with a poor man or would you be happy with a rich man or uh would you uh be comfortable funding a lifestyle for a um uh, if you make more money, would you be comfortable being in a relationship with someone who makes less money? Do you would you want to be someone's uh, purse or whatever? Like basically funding the lifestyle of my partner and things like that. And I was just like, how are these questions that are even being raised at this point? Like I felt like one, this person, okay, sharp doesn't know who I'm with. This person doesn't know who I'm seeing. But again, this person doesn't necessarily know how I approach relationships because. Because I don't talk about my relationships online. So this is a golden thread that I saw even in Q&A's where I would get asked that would you ever fund uh, uh, or would you ever be in a relationship where you're constantly funding your relationship or you're funding your man in that relationship or blah blah blah. And I felt like okay this is what's become of society. Society places very high value on people who have money, on people who, um, you know, who are living lavishly. And, you know, these people are seemingly more interesting. Let's be frank. Let's be honest. I mean, if you look at Instagram accounts, if you look at Twitter accounts where your fave is, you know, uh, 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 all dressed up, looking great, uh, your influencers, your celebrities, whatever they they've got expensive things and blah 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 some of them each to their own they are doing the absolute fucking most that i feel like and whether if it's because of a man or whatever but i feel like generally even if they were by themselves blah 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 living their own lives doing it they probably do it for themselves some of them you can see okay this girl mara questionable let's not sit and make any judgments or whatever each to their own but 
my problem is why has it gone to such a point that now being in a relationship with somebody who is decent, who, who works just as much as I do, who has an everyday nine to five or whatever, uh, but doesn't make that much coin that I could be gifted or showered with whatever kinds of gifts. Why is that seen to be the other? Why is that seem to be more, um, in young society, more of a, taboo kind of thing. If I came out here and said that, no, my partner and I, we both work, we both, um, you know, uh, make our own money and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But he doesn't shower me with, with, with expensive things and expensive bags. Why, why is that even a thing? Like, this is what I'm trying to understand. I just feel like I need to write because now, what about the people who are just generally living their lives with their partners who have decent nine to fives and yeah they, they it's, it's it's not a luxurious life but you're with somebody that you love and they work and blah 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 why is that seen as a problem can somebody make me understand that and on top of that why is it also seen as a problem if you are in a relationship with somebody and you're coexisting and you've been together for a really long long time and you assist each other out whether it be financially, whether it, you know you're not you're not you're not living off of each other, but here and there, isn't that what relationships are about? Taking care of one another, taking care of uh, your person as much as they take care of you. Why is that a problem? Why should it always be reciprocated? Why should it always be received by the women? But why is it seen as taboo if a woman if a woman decides to shower their man? Like, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. Why does a person have to, why does a woman have to explain herself when it comes to uh, helping out her partner? Uh, why does she have to explain herself if she's the one who wants to go and buy her partner a 20,000 rand pair of shoes? Why would that be seen as a problem, but it's okay if a man spends it on a woman? Can someone just make me understand this is this is the, the 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 real reason as to what has happened. I can't even drink my drink and talk at the same time, because even me growing up, I grew up in a household where my mother at some point was the breadwinner of the family while my father was still at school studying, right? And then obviously roles switched after that. But to me, I saw it as my mother saw potential in my father. And she thought that, okay, I'm going to be with you even though me, I must here now work while you pursue your studies and whatever. But look where it's gotten them now, you know? Okay, my mom passed away. But you know the point that I'm trying to make is that she saw the potential in him and knew that once he is done, studying and whatever and whatever we are going to live a good and a comfortable life and for sure that did happen after my father finished the school and started working why is it wrong to be with somebody who might not make the six figure whatever or might not make you know crazy amounts of money here and there why is it wrong to be with that person but you know you're with them because you see potential in them why has society placed so much value on uh people with money and why has it come to a point where now relationships you know when young people are looking for relationships or are looking for partners in relationships why do they look for that make me understand all right that's it i was just sharing my thoughts uh it's a little bit of a real talk i really want us to talk about this one and let's talk about it and let's share so yeah until then i'm gonna go and i'll see you in the next video mm, bye